Hi guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel at the Regal Gentleman Studios. Today we've got David in the chair. How are you, mate? Good, you good? I'm alright, I can't complain. So, what's the plan? What are we doing? I usually have it quite short. It's quite long as you can see. Yeah. Okay. For like yeah, yeah. Six months. So, on the sides, I was thinking like a medium uh, skin fade. Okay. Um, and the top, a lot of the top. Okay. I usually, I usually have it start up into the side. Okay, like open over to the side. side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no worries. That's fine. Do you have it parted or do you have it just brushed over at the front? The rest is kind of just brushed into place. Yeah, yeah, quite like messy. Texture. Quite messy. Okay, yeah, cool. How much are you looking to lose off the top then? Um, yeah, I think medium length, yeah. Medium, so half the length off, would yeah. you say medium, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so about that much, yeah? And just open off your face, yeah? I feel like and the rest. Zayn Malik has its sort of style, you know, how it's scrunched up. Like what, sorry, like mine? Zayn Malik. Oh, Zayn Malik. Maybe a bit shorter than you. A bit shorter than mine, yeah. okay. Oh right, okay, yeah, something like that. Okay, that's cool, yeah, definitely. And um, what about around the crown and the back? Just just messy, do you say? Yeah, just just kind of just a little bit of texture, be able to play around with it, yeah. But definitely much thinner than it is now. It's quite it's a bit thick. It's very thick, your hair, yeah, yeah. It's it's well it is. It's it there's a load of it, but it's like if you feel it's not it's not like a very thick texture because it's quite long. When it gets short, it will be, so you have to thin it out quite a lot then. But yeah, we can thin it out a lot to make it easier for you to style. But um in terms of the fade, you want a medium height fade, yeah? Yeah. Medium. Okay, well we'll work that out when we when we come on to the this when we work out uh the length of the top, okay, how high you want to go, but yeah, we can get pretty good height in there, I think, so yeah. All right, cool, man. We'll give it a shampoo and condition and then we'll get started. Right, guys, so we've just washed and conditioned David's hair. Now, I'm going to start cutting the top first, okay, because we're going so short, I think it'd be quite nice to graduate from the top downwards, and that way, I think, working on a higher fade is much easier that way as well. So what we'll do, we'll pick the length we want on the top, and then we'll work it down that way we can get the length we need on the corners so we can know how short we can go on that fade as well. So I'm going to start from just before the crown. Now, if you look at David's crown, he's got, looks a bit like two, two crowns, like a double crown really. Maybe even like he's almost coming towards three, but it's the main crown there. And as you can see the way that it kind of flicks off here. I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue, but like I always try and do prevention over cure, I take maybe like say a quarter of an inch away and just take a section right before the crown. So when I say before, I mean closer towards the fringe, all right? Because doing it this way, you, the client sees the haircut happening as you're doing it. So you see the change from the top being cut in, then back and sides being taken down. So lengthwise on the top, a little bit shorter than mine, I would say you're looking at about that much off, I reckon. You happy with that? Can you see that? Yeah, that's fine. It's all right, yeah? Cool. Then we just get that little bit longer towards the front. All right. So I'm gonna point cut into this. There you go, so that's my first section, so that's my guide, okay? Very small sections, roughly like two or three teeth wide. I'm just pulling straight up, and using the guide from behind, as you can see there, cutting right in. I'm just working along the center, so I'm taking sections right across the top. Looking that up, there's my guide. There we go. There's the length we're working with, right like that. Now that gives us enough length to texture, to thin out and also not to make it stand up too high. Roughly about a couple of, maybe an inch and a half length. Again, keeping them sections nice and thin so we can see our guide behind us. As you can see, you see it coming through there now. There we go. And because we're going shorter, the smaller the section, the shorter we go. Picking that up, there's a guide coming through. Another section again, and keeping them nice and thin. You can start to see the guide behind. Pick it up, guide behind. Pull it straight up. Again, it's still coming right up. By bringing it straight up, you can get a natural over direction because of the way the fringe at the front of the head kind of dips forwards. Put that straight up, there we go. And the next one is the final section, which is going straight up again. There'll still be a short fringe, but it'll all graduate nicely to the length we pick towards the back as well. There we go, like so. You see when you lower that down, still length in that fringe, which we can shorten out later. Comb all this over, back to the recession point. I'm going to work now to start the guide for my clipper work. So there's a guide from the top. I'm at the recession point, so I'm still keeping that fringe in there. And I'm pulling that straight out 
completely parallel to the other side and do it nice small sections see the guides coming through the back there up and out going straight back to that section at the back there there we go and cut that length off don't need all that length but this is going to give me the guide for the clipper work and also connection to the top as well now I'm going to pick the length of the front now so again I want some length that's going to be able to stand up it's still going to work and still has a shortness to it I'm going to pull it down I'm just going to cut it to just before his eyebrows as we get to that point there we're going to connect into the sides following the guy from the left hand side we're going to connect again now what we'll do, we'll use the razor to create the texture in this as well. Can't beat the kind of texture you get when you're using it with something with really thick hair. Especially like David's hair, it's so good. Such good texture of hair, really thick. Gets so much movement out of this as well. So I'm going to use a razor, work it, use your comb, use the razor flat, and work up and off. So that's going to take hair out within the grooves of the razor. And again, take them really short sections out. What that's going to do is create kind of jagged finish, but it's going to really thin out, so it's taking a bit of length out of the section as well. So it's going to thin the hair out, and also create a lot of texture in there as well. Like this. And work it down and across to really thin out the hair as well. Go loads of different ways. Make a pen. Just working through the hair like so. You can hear the razor just taking a little bit of hair off. Just from halfway up, we'll work very small sections like that. Like so. Now just through the top, just to get some lift, I'm going to work again with the razor. Do some really thick, chunky texture through there as well to add that lift. Basically, the other length staying there, but if you look at the water's making it stand up now. But if it works with water, it's only going to work with the product, and that's the kind of way I try and look at things. The texture's done its job, the razor's done its job, and the product will just enhance all of that texture out there as well. I'm gonna dry this through now, okay? Now I'm trying to loosely dry it, because I just want to try and get this shape in there for days. We can see the shape we're going for, and just hook it around like that. And what we'll see is that's starting to work up and over, like so. I'm also gonna dry it the other way just so it doesn't just fall to one side. So David has got the option to do something with it as well. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut in to the fringe, and thin that out a little bit as well, just through here. Straight in, like so, and I'll just shatter the ends when it stands up as well. So you're left with a really jagged finish. So it's a very messy finish. Maybe a little bit through the back as well. Like so. Pulling the fringe down like so and just breaking up the ends like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to comb out from the crown. Like so. I'm just going to cut the crown in and use the guide from here. I'm just going to drop it down as well. It's just purely for guidelines that don't cut into the crown, as you can see. Here we go. So I've just got my nice guide. Then I'll work through to my clippers as well. So as I always do, I'm going to start on my two. But looking with a blend point as well, we've got quite a nice high blend point here as well. So I know working with David's face shapes, well, we can blend up to that point. So I reckon we can get a really decent high fade on this, or like at least a medium fade at least. So. Guard down and start from the sides now because I'm working with the shape across here. I'm not going to start at the back purely because the crown has been left longer, but I'm going to do the side first, then the other side and match into the back. So two guard on, lever down. I'm going to work up into that blend point as well. Like so. I always tend to be like quite honest, like we've had a couple of guys you may, uh, you'll see throughout this series, um, 
of people who've wanted to come in for like a high fade or a medium fade and we've had to go for a lower fade just because it didn't work for the style or for the head shape. But for David, it'll work well. Just a good temple height, really show off that stretch blend. It'll look nice. Just down to my number two now. So the lever is closed. We can open it off. So one guard on. So leave it down. So I'm going to start at the back now. Again, go for a nice stretch blend on this one. You can really see that fade showing off into that length at the top. So working up and off into our two and a half. Pulling away as you get to the top, just having a scoop effect at the top. So I'm going to put my zero line in now. Okay. Go to about here and blend that. Still keep that edging in there as well. So you just really see that fade pop a bit. Like so. I'm just dropping it down the back again as well, just to make sure we've got the height of the crown and the length left of the crown as well. I'm just going to go back over it a little bit. Just make sure the line's nice and straight. And then I'm just going to shape up this temple slightly. So just start to taper in a little bit. And just gives this a nice bit of shape just because the detail of the fade will work really well with a nice arch at the temple as well. Working down our minis, up and off into our zero. And try to up and off into the zero as well. Just use a corner just to scatter that blend as well. So, blend this in now. I'm going to start with the open blade. Okay, so no guard on it. Leave a pull back so it becomes a 0.5. Okay, so using the half and using that scooper method, I'm going to stretch this blend out. So I'm going to work it up and off and pull off about here. Like so. I'm going to work through the lever. Do the same thing until I get down to my zero. There we go. Just working down the notches of the lever. And then we meet in the back. I'm just going to use the minis, the ones that are... These come with the set, the super motor, the Babyliss set. Now I find these are just in between the skeletons and the super motor, the zero. I'll just work over that. It just takes out the harshness. Now just go back over to this one, just to make sure we get any of that skin line out. So what we'll do now is some clipper cone to blend in. I'm going to start this blending in. 
Okay, so keep it nice and square, working up and off the head. Gonna blend in the two and a half into the top. Is it right up, seat towards me. Working down to our blending point now. As you can see, we're creating that really nice head shape at the back, see? Nice and round, and then tapers right in. Let's cut the crown in now, okay? So we can see all that length we've left from when he came in. That was the length that originally he came in with. So what we do now is just cut it and bring it over the crown. So we start cutting horizontally first to make sure it still lies flat. And then out, like so. And then we can start cutting into this as well. We all know it's gonna sit nice, so we can just break into it, like so. You see that's sitting really nice. Put the crown across its left-hand side and take all this length off. It's not doing anything for us, just sitting there, and as you can see, it's not going to stand up. So to finish off, just to make sure the crown's sitting correctly, we're going to finish off with a bit of scissor over comb. And we just want to thin it out a little bit. Just gonna point cut into it like that. Just pick it up and just make it up along the blend. A bit shorter, just because obviously we've left that length there from the crown before. Just using the scissors just to get that little skin line away there. off of the fringe there as well so it doesn't overhang too much when he styles it now I always like to have a little bit of texture in that blend anyway just when it comes to being a messy haircut there's no point in being like perfectly kind of straight and whatnot on the blend I always like to have the blend to be there but to have that little bit of movement when you are styling it Once that's all done, just gonna perfect the blend. That's all. So just a half guard and just perfecting it. Any bits that I see that I think maybe could be a bit dark, I'll go over. Just using the half guard open. And just working through it. Great little method just to get the dark areas out. Everybody's already blended, so you're just using that same method. It just perfects it even more for you. How's that landfill for you, mate? Yeah, great. Happy, yeah? Sweet, man. I think it looks great. That was such a big change, mate. Bloody hell. There we go, man. Right, should I start it off for you? So I'm just drying this off. Well, I'm just blasting it off now because the hair's not wet. So just cold air and just setting it into the style. Now, you've seen that almost transition into this haircut now, because you saw at the top, the top stayed the same, but the back and sides have got taken in. Now, what would you like to finish it off with? What type of look do you prefer? Do you prefer like a wetter look, a drier look? A drier, a drier look, yeah, okay. Can we use some styling powder, please? You just sprinkle it all over the top, in like a shampoo. And what you're left with is a really, really textured hairstyle. And again, Zayn Malik-esque inspiration. Yeah. Right, so just to recap, um, David came in, he had very long hair, six months growth, October. He was telling me that he didn't get a chance to get a cut because uh, in the UK we went from one lockdown to another lockdown to another lockdown. So um, this was six months growth. Now, when he came in, he wanted like a medium skin fade. And he, he sort of referenced like Zayn Malik from, you know, the, the, the singer, former uh, band member of One Direction. It was, it was sort of a longer version of what I've seen him used to. And, and he said a little a bit shorter than mine as well. So that's kind of 
a good reference really. What I'm wearing, what he's got. I kind of know what his hairstyle was like anyway. And then um, went to a skin fade on the back and sides. As we got to the fringe, we just naturally pulled it straight up, which naturally over directs the fringe. So as you can see from that side profile, everything balances nicely and straight through there. So the fringe is longer. Then we used a razor in this. We point cut into this. We, we just really heavily texturized the top because the hair is so thick. I wanted that really nice natural movement. And we just blow dried it a bit over the front. But that was pretty much it. That's it. You happy, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. Brilliant. Thank you.